Today I'm bringing you a super simple tutorial in Photoshop to get this kind of dreamy, hazy, filmy effect, however you want to call it. I don't know if you heard about this kind of filters called Cinebloom. It's this kind of filter you put on the lens and it creates this kind of gloomy effect in the highlights. It's super, super nice. People use it a lot for filmmaking and for photography. But you don't have the filter, like me, I don't have it yet, but I wanna get it. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna check it out. You can fake it in Photoshop. It's not gonna be the same, obviously, but you can create a bit the effect if you don't have the filter. It's gonna be obviously cheaper. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you in Lightroom how I open the pictures and how I do it in Photoshop. It's super quick, but I'm gonna show you with five pictures for you to see a bit what it can do and the modifications you can do as well to achieve different things. So let's go to it, guys. This is Lightroom. I already applied my presets. I have my own presets on my website that you can purchase. I didn't even promote them on YouTube yet, but they are on sale if you wanna check them out. I'm gonna leave them down below as well. So I already applied the presets. I always do all the color grading, everything I want to achieve in Lightroom. And then after Lightroom, I open Photoshop to carry on with the picture. So I'm gonna start with this one, for example. This is a self-portrait. The black and white preset is already applied. I'm gonna open it in Photoshop and you will see how quick it's gonna be. You just have to duplicate the layer you have here, the copy, and in this layer, you just have to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and here it depends on how much you want to put. A good radius would be between 20 and 30, but it depends on how much effect you want. Don't overdo it because it doesn't look nice. I'm gonna put 30. 30 normally is good. Press OK. And this is now super blurry, so it's not gonna be like this, don't worry. You just have to be here in the blending mode. You just have to put lighting or a screen. So a screen is gonna make it more hazy and it's gonna lighten the picture a lot, but don't worry because you can lower the opacity, but I like it more for this picture to put in lighting mode. So you put here, this is the before, and this is the after. It's already super, super nice, but I'm gonna lower it. I like to put between 50 and 60, but depending on the picture, I put even more. This one I'm gonna put 70, actually. There you go. And I'm gonna zoom in. This is the before, and this is the after. It's super nice. So then you put together the layers, and then the last thing you can do is add noise. I personally like to add noise in Luminar 4, it's a software I love, or you can add it in Lightroom, because you have more control over the noise, the amount of grain, the roughness of the grain, you can be more picky with the grain you put, but anyway, in Photoshop you can add it as well, so you would have to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna overdo it, so you have two uniform, which looks this way, and then you have Gaussian, which looks this other way. I prefer uniform, personally. And then you have to tick monochromatic, because you don't tick monochromatic. As you see, it creates this digital noise, which is awful, because it's with color. So press monochromatic, and then uniform, and the amount between one and 10, because if you do too much, it's gonna look fake. Let's put 10 on this one. It's a bit too much. Let's put maybe seven. Yeah, seven works good. And it looks super nice. This is the before. And this is the after. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you see more the effect. This is the before, super sharp, which I love, but it's more digital. And then with this effect, it would be like this, with the noise, very film looking and very glowy. I love it for this picture, how it looks actually. Super, super nice. So let's go for another one, this one with color, to show you. This picture was done because so many of you are asking me uh, about how I do with color gels. This one is not a color gel, it's the RGB light from Newer. I use them a lot, it comes in a set of two. I'm gonna leave them down below as well. But here I've just used one of them. You can change the colors, all the colors you like, the power, they are very, very good. So this one was done with that. So I'm gonna open it as well in Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you the other kind of blending mode you can have. So this is the portrait. Again, you duplicate the layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 
and again, I'm gonna put 30. Then you can play around with this and you're gonna learn even further or you're gonna have your own preferences. I choose 30 again. Blending mode, I'm gonna put, this is lighten, which looks super cool. And this is the screen, it's very hazy. For this one, I really like a screen, but I'm gonna put it lower. This is zero, let's put maybe, maybe even more, 60. This is the before and this is the after. You can even put a bit more and then make it more contrasty to compensate the fading. So now you put the layers together, you go to levels, command L in your Mac, control L in Windows. So then here you just slide this here, you see you can put more contrast, all the contrast you want. You can put it like that, you like it darker and here faded, I'm gonna put it in between. Maybe 10, 9. And that's it. This is the before and the after. This is the before and the after. Super gloomy. I love it. For this moody lighting, it's insane. I'm gonna add the noise as well to show you. Noise, add noise. 7 is a bit too much on this one. Depending on the picture, it's gonna be more rough or less rough. So this one is too much. So you can put maybe 5. Maybe even, yeah, I like it three, four. I'm gonna put four. So this is the before, and this is the after. It's super cool. I'm gonna zoom in a bit and do it again for you to see the difference. This is the before with no noise and properly sharp, and then this is with the effect. Super, super, super nice. It really matches with this picture as well, this effect. I love it. And then I'm gonna do, maybe I'm not gonna do all of them because you have an idea. This one is another one. I'm gonna do it with this one actually to show you, like it doesn't have to be a portrait. You can do it with anything you want, with any picture. So this is edited as well with one of my presets in black and white. You would open it in Photoshop. Here it is. And then again, duplicate layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you would put this is just preview, this kind of banding, don't worry about it. This is the preview only. So you put 30, okay. And blending mode, you go to lighten or screen. I'm gonna put lighten on this one because I like it more. Depending on the picture, it's gonna ask for something different. You will see. And then I'm gonna reduce the opacity. I'm gonna put probably 70 is good. I'm gonna blend it. And I'm gonna add more contrast because it's too faded. So again, levels, 9 is fine, and here it is. I'm gonna add the noise first to show you. I love to add noise for these kind of effects. This one, 4, I'm gonna put 5 on this one. Okay, and that's it. This is the before, super sharp, digital, and this is the after, gloomy, noisy and more film looking. I love, love, love this effect. So you can use it for any picture. I'm gonna do this one actually because I really like this effect. This black and white is very film looking, is one of my presets as well. So then you go to Photoshop and that's it. You duplicate the layer, filter, blur, goes and blur. It's super simple, it takes 60 seconds guys. So 30 pixels as well radius, but then you can play around and get creative with this. And then in the breathing method, I'm gonna put or lighten or screen. Let me see a screen how it looks like with this one. It looks very nice, but I'm not sure if I like more lighten. I like more lighten for this one. You will see, depending on the picture, it's gonna be different. I'm gonna put 60 on this one. So this is the before, and this is the after. It's super, super nice. And actually, I'm gonna make it more contrasty. Again, with the levels, you just have to slide this part here. I'm gonna put 10, 9, and add the noise. For this one, you see, you cannot see properly the noise, so just push it a bit more. 9, I'm gonna put even 10, because you can see it less. And there you go. I'm gonna zoom in so you see better. This is the before digital, sharp, 
and this is the after more glowy and with noise super nice guys super 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 nice so yeah this was the tutorial another quick tip i can give you if you don't own one of these whichever you buy <laughs> get one of these because it's gonna make your life easier i'm gonna link below mine so many photographers have this one that's why i bought it myself because it's very affordable it's bluetooth so you don't have to use any cable unless you run out of battery which is fine as well to be honest i sometimes work with cable and this one is very 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 affordable i bought it because so many photographers have it and it's cheap and i don't need a 300 pounds tablet to edit for this one i edit all my portrait work and it's very good and that's it guys i'm gonna do more tutorials because i have so many effects i can show you and i realize i don't do too many tutorials so i'm gonna i'm gonna do more i'm gonna do more because on instagram so many of you guys are texting me how you do this how you do that so i'm gonna start to do that please subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet because it helps me a lot and i will see you very soon guys thank you so much for watching